Hello Gemini, thank you so much for joining me for this video. This is going to be your love reading. It's going to be a general love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Um, today I'm going to be picking um, two oracle cards. I've already pre-shuffled the decks off camera. So I'm just going to split the deck on camera and see what messages we have for you. Let's start for Gemini, please. Let's see what messages we have for you guys. Building blocks. Okay, so this is all about building a new foundation here. Um, you're probably thinking about creating something, um, probably working hard on something, um, rebuilding a relationship possibly, or reconnecting. Um, and the reason I say that's because all of these blocks are connected and they're kind of like coming down to settle down. So almost like your, your focus is on a relationship that is strong and stable on like at the very minimum. Okay. So let's see what else we have for you guys for Gemini, please in love. We have the world. I love it. This is very um, kind of like every time I see this card, I think about the world is your oyster, the world of possibilities. I think you're looking out at the possibilities of a particular connection or maybe you're single and the world is your oyster. You have all kinds of opportunities available to you. So we're going to clarify with the tarot and see what other messages we have for you. But I love the energy of those two cards already. And I'm going to use two decks today, um, one to kind of lay down the spread and then one to clarify. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, or commented on the videos recently. I have been loving reading your comments and I appreciate your support so much. So thank you. Please consider subscribing or liking the video if you enjoy my readings. Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini? What messages do you have for Gemini, please, regarding love? I hope that everyone is doing well, staying healthy. Messages for Gemini, please, for love. Let's see what we have. Whatever situation I talk about today, time is fluid, so it could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles so far. Again, with the building here, the working, the making an effort. Ooh. Okay, we have Three of Wands, King of Cups. Okay, hold on. The Fool, Ace of Pentacles, wow. Four of Swords. I'm not gonna take these because I'm only, oh wow. The Tower and the Chariot, by the way, if you were wondering what those were. So this is the spread that I've been using recently and I really like it. Simple, to the point, past energy, current energy, future energy here. But obviously, I look at the spread as a whole. But what I see here is brand new opportunities here. Some sort of waiting for something new to begin here. Something stable. Um, and then I don't really see a lot of movement after that. Almost like you're in waiting mode, really thinking about your next step. You might be um, thinking about an offer that's coming into you and maybe really digging deep and figuring out if it's what you truly want. Um, I feel like this King of Cups is the one making an offer. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. You could also be dealing with an Aries. But I feel like in the past, you've just been focusing on yourself, Gemini, working on yourself, um, thinking about your future, thinking about how to set up your future. And I feel like you've been so focused on yourself and then there's like this surprise. Um, I feel like a lot of you were waiting for this to happen or knew this was gonna happen at some point because of the Three of Wands. And a lot of you are gonna be open to this offer. I, I see that because I have the Fool here with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like, I feel like you're ready for something new. You're ready to take a leap of faith on a connection here. 
This could also be the person that you're dealing with with the Eight of Pentacles. They could be really working on how to make this offer to you. I feel like they're going to be sincere. It's going to be um, someone emotionally open to you with the King of Cups. Someone who has a lot of feelings towards you. And they're very serious about starting new, start starting something new here. Um, some of you are also healing from a past connection with the Four of Swords. Um, but it really what I'm getting is since this is in the near future or the position of the near future, I'm really thinking that this position, this position, <laughs> this offer is going to come in and you're going to be thinking really hard about whether it's right for you. Um, almost like at first you're going to be like, yeah, and then, but let me think about it. <laughs> That's kind of how I, I'm seeing this. For those of you who are here for like work, um, I really do think this is possibly a offer in terms of a brand new position or a promotion of some sort. I feel like you've been working hard on your skills here, um, really showing what you're made of and someone has taken notice of that, but you're still going to think about the offer, whatever it is. So let's clarify these and see what other messages we can get. Spirit, please help me clarify these messages for Gemini. Roles can be reversed. So I could be talking about you, Gemini, or the person that you are connecting with. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate better. For Gemini, please. Oops, in regards to love. For Gemini. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles, please. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? I feel like whoever this is, they're a hard worker. They um, focus on a task until it's complete kind of person. Diligent, focused. Um, I feel like this person's also um, working on their stability. Again, this could be you, but I'm really getting that this person could also be the one that's doing these building blocks here. Four of Cups, interesting. So this person, I feel like at some point, um, they were not content or just disillusioned with their current place in life. Um, and they've taken action, I feel. Um, for some of you, this person missed out on an opportunity with you and it's like they're working to get you back. Um, what else do we have for the Eight of Pentacles? This person, again, really thought about, you know, where they're at right now, currently, and if that's where they want to stay. That's the energy that I'm getting with that. Spirit, what else do you have for this Eight of Pentacles? Another message do we have for the Eight of Pentacles, please. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person, I'm really feeling like they were just kind of tired of where they were, unhappy. Um... This person has probably been through some difficult times, a difficult situation in their life that caused them to put up walls, um, to not be emotionally available to anyone is what I'm getting to. Um, and I feel like they're kind of getting out of that energy by just working hard, putting in effort. With the Four of Cups too, I'm getting someone possibly wasn't ready to accept an offer in the past, but they are working on that, um, possibly because they were healing from whatever this Nine of Wands energy is about. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands, okay? Yeah, see, there was a tower moment and the high priestess here. So this person had some sort of tower moment and unexpected shakeup in their life. And then it's like they've been spiritually guided using their intuition to figure out what they truly want. Um, this tower moment really did a number on this person. I feel like it was kind of like a wake up call for this person. See how they're kind of just sitting around doing nothing with the four of cups, um, kind of just thinking about what didn't work out here, um, and not focus on anything. And then I feel like this tower moment was a wake up call for them. This could have been an ending of a relationship, a sudden, um, departure of some sort, um, something unexpected that rocked the foundation of this person's life. Um, and then with the high priestess, I feel like they've been, they've been really guided. I'm so sorry. That's my dog being weird back there. Um, they've been 
listening to their intuition or listening to their heart here is what I'm getting. And now they're like ready to work. So tell me about this three of wands. This is about someone kind of waiting. It's like they've sent out a message and they're waiting for a response or they're looking out at the possibilities of something. These two cards, the world and the three of wands to me are very similar. There's two people that are kind of waiting at some sort of dock and looking out. So I really do think that some of, for some of you, this person, either you or them are looking out at where your life could be headed. Um, some of you are waiting for your soulmate to arrive. I just heard where is he or where is she? So um, I feel like a lot of you are kind of waiting around for someone to reach out to you or, or I feel like some of you are really thinking about putting yourself out there again. Tell me about the Three of Wands for Gemini. What's this Three of Wands about? Knight of Wands. Yeah, some of you are going to be the ones to take action here. But for others of you, there is someone coming in. Could be Aries, Leo, Sag, and then I have Death. So interesting, a transformation here. I feel like someone wants to come in to change a situation. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Fire Sign. For, for some of you put an end to something that was like a person that was just in and out of your life, you put a stop to that and you're waiting for what else could like, it's almost like you're, you think there's better out there for you and you're waiting for that. For others of you, this is someone that's coming in to transform a situation, almost like maybe something was dead at some point and they want to come in and revive it. Let's see if we can get one more for this death card. Tell me more about death. What's death about here for Gemini? Tell me more spirit about this death card. Eight of Cups. So there was definitely somebody that walked away from something here. They put an end to something. So again, I'm getting the same message. Someone could be coming in that possibly walked away in the past or you put an end to something you walked away from something that wasn't serving you because you want to 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 get something else for your for yourself um so we'll see what else we can get in the other messages here because i see you waiting for something new here with the three of wands and the fool tell me about the fool oh wow oh wow Wow, okay, look at this. I have the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. I feel like some of you are really waiting. It's like you've been single for a long time, possibly working on yourself here with the Nine of Pentacles, just being self-reliant, um, doing you, and then you're ready for something new, something long-term. A soulmate type of connection could be coming in for you because I have the Ace of Pentacles right under the deck. I mean, right under the deck. <laughs> under the Fool. These are beautiful energies here, Gemini. I really feel like someone's going to come in to make an offer. It's like they've seen you. They've seen you flourish. They've seen you grow into something or, or someone very stable and grounded and just living your best life is what I'm getting with the Nine of Pentacles. And someone has recognized that. I just heard I want that. So <laughs> I feel like someone has been looking at you at what you've been working on here and they want to approach. Um, this could be somebody completely new to you or it could be someone from your past because I have the Wheel of Fortune under the deck here. And again, I'm thinking about someone from that something that was once dead coming back to life here with the Wheel of Fortune. In this deck, anyway, that's what I see. I feel like the wheel has changed things here. Something has shifted to bring to open up a door, is what I'm seeing here. I feel like a lot of you guys have been ready for this for a long time. And again, I'm getting the energy that this could be someone, it's almost, it's a soulmate type of connection. So it could be someone completely new to you, someone that's from a past life or someone you've already known. 
Tell me about the King of Cups. Who's this King of Cups? Tell me about this King of Cups, please. Could be a water sign, but more than anything, the King of Cups, he's um, emotionally mature. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Pentacles. Again. I really feel like this King of Cups has been working on him or herself. Yeah, to, to make this offer. Knight of Cups. Now, this could be an apology or it could be an offer of love. It could be just, ex just expressing how they feel about you. Let's get one more. Can I get one more for the King of Cups? Thank you. The Hermit. Okay, so this person could be a Virgo. But what I'm seeing here is someone has really been working on themselves here with the Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. Someone has really been digging deep to figure out what they truly want here. Again, listening to their intuition, listening to their inner voice, and um, almost like they're working on the best offer they can possibly make here. Um, Knight of Cups, it's like the Romeo of the Tarot. They have really good intentions and they have a lot of, there's a lot of emotion behind this offer is what I'm getting. I don't see this as an offer that's just flighty. Could be from a water sign, could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be. Aries is here as well. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Thank you, okay. Wow. So we got the Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Again, I'm getting the sense of um, someone who has been guarded or been dealing with something difficult with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. I feel like this person, this tower moment, whatever happened, has caused them to put down this burden to be more stable so that they can make a very stable offer to you. I feel like they think that's what you deserve, Gemini. Like you won't accept anything less than that. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles, please. Thank you. This is the one that flipped over. Queen of Swords. Um, this could be you, Gemini. Um, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, it could just be that this person wants to have a very serious conversation. But what I'm seeing is that this King of Pentacles wants to go after you. They want to make an offer to you and they know they have to come correct with the Queen of Swords. They know you're not going to just accept just any old offer. I'm really getting that vibe of someone who wants to offer you what you deserve or make you an offer that you cannot refuse. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. So yeah, this is definitely, I mean, it's all kind of coming together in this reading. I love when that happens. But again, I'm getting a sense of someone making you an offer that's not just stable, but has there's emotion behind it as well. So that's why um, this could be someone new that you've recently met that it's been going very quickly or the emotions have been there from the beginning or this is someone that you've already have had some sort of past connection where there's already emotions there. Um, it could be either of those things. Tell me about the four. Tell me about the four of swords, please. What's the four of swords about? Four of swords is about healing, thinking, relaxing. I feel like this person who's gone through this tower moment is the one that's healing or this could be the healing of a connection as well nine of cups wow anything else for this four of swords wow nine of cups wish fulfillment oh my god and there's the ace of cups what is happening? Can I get one more? Page of Swords. Wow. This person has been watching you, Gemini, and they've been seeing you as their wish fulfillment. Um, 
I really get the sense this person has seen this glow up. I, I mean, I, I've, I, I felt that when I saw the Knight of Pentacles and I feel that again with the Page of Swords. This person wants to send some sort of message here. Um, and I feel like this person has been really deep in thought about this with the Four of Swords. It's like they've healed from whatever happened and it's put them in this position of just going after their Ten of Cups because Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups equals Ten. So this person is really going to be approaching you with an offer that's not just stable and grounded, but also, again, there's going to be a lot of emotion behind it. Um, it that, and that's just beautiful. It is beautiful. I love it. So in the extended, I'm going to look at how this person views you specifically. I'm going to use my wild spirit, um, animal spirit um, deck for that. And then I'm also going to um, pull some angel answers oracle in the extended as well. Kind of get it some more insight into who this king of cups might be. And where this could be headed. I mean, honestly, this is a strong offer. So it's going to be up to you if you accept it or not. Let me know if it resonated with you in the comments. If it didn't resonate with you, check out your other placements. And again, thank you so much to everyone who has liked, subscribed, or participated in the channel recently. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I wish you all health and peace and happiness during these trying couple of weeks coming up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.